Hey everyone, I'm Brian with AromaCup.com. Thanks as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by AromaCup.com. In today's video, I'm giving you an exclusive overview of the Bun My Cafe MCU Single Serve Multi-Use Coffee Brewer. This is a pretty cool machine that does uh, just about everything that you need to do with a single serve brewer and uh, does it pretty darn well, I would have to say. So we're gonna give you an overview, talk about what's in the box, and of course, brew some coffee. So let's dive right in and start talking about what's in the box for the Bun My Cafe MCU Single Serve Brewer. All right, so let's talk about what's in the box for the Bun My Cafe Brewer. Uh, now, I should mention that this is the MCU version. There is another version of uh, the My Cafe Brewer that Bun makes. It's the uh, sort of lesser version than this one. Doesn't have as many features. So the one that we're reviewing, again, it's the MCU model. And there's more in the box and it's capable of doing a whole lot more when it comes to brewing. So when you open the box, you're going to find your instruction manual, of course, a sample coffee pack with some coffee pods. You'll get a coffee scoop to be able to scoop and uh, brew your own coffee. You have the machine, of course. Uh, now, this machine is uh, pretty lightweight when it comes to the amount of space it takes up on a countertop, I've found. Uh, and that's one thing I do like about it. For, do, for as much as it's capable of, it doesn't take up that much space on the countertop. We'll talk about the features of it in a moment. And then you're going to find four different brewing trays. Uh, now each of these trays, of course, is used for a different brew feature. In the case of the one I'm holding here, this is for brewing your own coffee. We'll talk about making use of that soon. Uh, you have a pod brewing tray. This is for making uh, soft tea uh, pods, coffee pods, anything that's a soft pod of some kind, you can use with this tray. You have a hot water tray, so if you're just gonna make uh, maybe hot water for hot chocolate or something like that. That's what you want to use this one for. And then finally, you have one of the coolest features of this machine, and that is the K-cup tray. And this is going to allow you to actually make uh, coffee using K-cups uh, in the My Cafe Brewer. So that's one of the really cool features about this machine, is it's multi-use, of course. So we'll show you how to make use of all of those in just a moment. That's pretty much everything that comes in the box, these glasses that I have right here are separate. Of course, they're not included. Uh, but everything else I've just explained is what's gonna come in the box for the My Cafe. So let's go ahead and dive into the general operation of the machine, talk about how you can make use of it in your at-home coffee shop. Let's give you an overview of uh, just the machine itself so that you can get a better understanding of it. It's pretty straightforward. We'll start at the bottom as we always do with the tray. Uh, the tray has this stainless steel grill which you can remove really easily. Uh, and this is going to allow you to remove the drip tray which of course is good for cleaning. And this is also going to allow you to uh, be able to put a larger tumbler under the brew station to be able to start brewing. Uh, so the tray is really easy to remove and make use of. Now, moving up, you have, of course, the primary brew station. This is where you're going to add your brewing trays. Now, these just snap directly onto the machine. And what you're going to find is that uh, when you snap one of these on, it's going to put the machine into brew mode. If you take one off, it's also going to put the machine into brew mode. Uh, so that's an important thing to, to remember because there is no on-off switch on this machine. If it's plugged in, it's turned on. Now, it will go into a lower temperature mode after about six hours. It has an internal water tank and we'll go into a lower temperature mode after about six hours. After 26 hours, it will go into a full sleep mode. So there's not a whole lot of energy saving going on here. I mean, there is, it is an energy saving function, but it's not necessarily going to do any of that very quickly. So if you want to turn the machine off, you're going to want to unplug it. Um, but the tray, again, that will turn the machine on essentially. On uh, the right-hand side of the machine right here, you're going to find just two primary buttons. One of them is the brew button, and the other one is the pulse button. And the pulse button, if it's engaged, if I just press it, I'm gonna see it glowing. And what this means is that the machine is going to make a stronger brew. It's going to basically brew some water through whatever you might be brewing in the machine, and then it's going to wait a few seconds and then continue brewing. So rather than just pushing all the water through, it's gonna take its time, essentially. The brew button, pretty straightforward, obviously. Press it and you start brewing. On the top of the machine, you're going to find the water fill 
uh, section. And this is where you want to actually pour water into the machine uh, when you are going to be brewing. Now, in the instruction manual, uh, Bun states that you should, when you are brewing, pour into this reservoir as much water as you want in your, your brewed cup of coffee or whatever beverage you may happen to be making. Uh, what I've found is that I will just very often just fill this up so that there's a lot of water inside of the machine so that I can start brewing. But I've also found that if you fill up to one of these fill level lines that you have right here, you'll brew just that much of a beverage when you actually go to brewing with the machine. So it's something to keep in mind. It's a little bit involved when it comes to the actual brew process. Now, there is a tank inside of this machine, but you can't see it and you can't remove it. So that internal water tank will hold water and keep it hot, uh, but you can't see or refill that tank. So if you don't use this machine for a little while, you're probably gonna wanna get as much water out of it just using a hot water brew cycle in order to make sure there's not water staying inside of the machine. Uh, one other thing to note is that Bun says in their manual that you should not use distilled water. They say to use filtered water of some kind, but that you should use a water that does have some mineral content because that will give you the best flavor of your coffee. That's actually the first time I've ever seen that in a manual, stating specifically use water with minerals, but um, I think that it will improve the flavor of the coffee. That's the overall uh, kind of how the machine works, just its, its general operation. Uh, and of course, it just plugs into a regular wall socket, nothing special going on here. So let's start talking about how you can brew some beverages using the My Cafe MCU Brewer. Now I'll show you how to brew some beverages using the My Cafe MCU Brewer. Let's start off brewing with the K-cup tray because I think this is the one that everyone's probably gonna be the most interested in. Real easy to do. Take your K-cup tray and then choose a K-cup. Any K-cup will do. Put it into the brew tray and then close up the top of the tray. Now you're just going to take this and make sure that it snaps firmly onto the MCU. It locks down because there's this locking button right here, which you actually need to press in order to remove any of the trays. Now we're just going to place a cup and we're going to add as much water as we would like to make for our coffee. I'm just going to add about eight ounces worth of water. And now we're going to start the brew process. Close up that water tray on the top and then press the brew button. Now I've noticed that the machine brews pretty fast, which is nice. There's definitely a lot of pressure going on here. Um, but again, if you want a stronger brew, on your beverage, you're gonna to wanna to use that pulse button in order to take a little bit more time in brewing. Now you also, if you want to, can stop the brew process by just pressing the brew button again while the machine is in brew mode. So if you find that you're making a little bit too much uh, coffee or something like that, just press that button and you'll stop the brew process. So that's a cup of coffee using a K-cup uh, from the Bun My Cafe Brewer. And then you just need to go ahead and clean up on the machine, remove that K-cup tray. Be careful because there's probably going to be some hot water uh, on top of that and remove your spent K-cup. Put that aside and of course you can start brewing with another K-cup if you would like. But let's go ahead and move on to brewing with the pod tray. Uh, I have just a regular coffee pod right here and all you need to do is place that into the brewing tray. We'll just place this onto the uh, My Cafe Brewer. Again, make sure it locks into place. And now we're going to brew using a coffee pod. But that's a cup of coffee using a coffee pod in the uh, MCU. And again, cleanup is pretty easy. Just remove that brew tray and then get rid of that spent pod. This is also cool because you could just put a tea bag in here and brew tea, but if you're going to brew tea, I would suggest using the pulse option so that you can take a little uh, longer to be able to brew. Now let's go ahead and talk about how you can brew ground coffee making use of the MCU. This is also pretty easy to do. I have the ground coffee tray right here, and it's also pretty simple. It just has this door that opens on the top. Inside, you're going to find a removable filter, uh, which you can pop out in order uh, to clean it. But I'm just going to take some ground coffee and I'm going to add that to this brew tray. 
And again, we're just going to go ahead and start brewing. Now I'll show you the pulse feature in this case. We're going to press the pulse. And you're also going to notice right now that uh, the machine's brew button is blinking red. So I'm going to go ahead and remember to add some water. And I'm going to add a little bit extra this time. All right, and now we should be able to start brewing. And there we go, that's a cup of coffee. Now I maybe could have even used a little bit more grounds there or maybe a darker roast in order to get a stronger cup of coffee. But you can see it's pretty easy to make your own coffee, your own ground coffee using the MCU. Now the cleanup on this, I won't show you this just because we would have to make a little bit of a mess, but of course you're going to want to just rinse this tray out so that you can start brewing your next cup. Finally, I'll show you how we can make just some hot water using the machine. That's what the hot water tray is uh, going to be used for. You notice there's very little space right here because you're not going to be adding anything to this. You're just simply going to click this onto the machine and again, add a tumbler or a mug of some kind. Make sure to add some water to the machine. And now, of course, you're going to start your brew process. And now I'm just making hot water with the MCU. So of course this would be very useful for making quick oatmeal or hot chocolates and various things like that. And of course you can stop this process by simply pressing the brew button. You can always pick it back up by pressing that button again. So it's pretty straightforward, the actual operation of the machine. And of course, in this case, just make sure to remove that tray when you're all done. This machine is retailing for about, at the making of this video, uh, about $179. Of course, you can find a different price if you shop around. And make sure to check out aromacup.com to find out ways that you could save money on this brewer and of course other single serve brewers. The bottom line with this machine, uh, I feel, is that it's a great multi-use brewer. It obviously does a number of different beverages, which I think is really cool. It's awesome to have a machine that can do K-cups and uh, pods and your own coffee very easily, which I think is a great feature. Uh, I do have to say that if you want to brew stronger cups of coffee, you're going to want to make use of the pulse option because that's going to take a little longer on the brew process, give you a stronger cup of coffee. The one thing I should mention is that uh, this machine, it doesn't do espresso. You could certainly use espresso roast coffee uh, to brew your own with this machine, but it doesn't have a specific espresso function or anything like that. So it's the one thing lacking from this machine when it comes to the multi-use functionality of it, no espresso. But beyond that, it does just about everything else. I think it does it very well. Uh, very low profile, easy to use, just has those, those couple buttons for brewing. Easy to fill up. I think it's a little bit unfortunate that you can't tell how much water is in the machine because you can't see the water tank. But I don't think that that is anything that necessarily works against the machine when you come right down to it. And for the price of about $179, depending on also, of course, how you shop around, you might find it's a little bit lower priced. I think it's a great machine to be able to add to your own at-home coffee shop, especially if you want to be able to do a number of different beverages using one machine. So there you go, guys. That's the overview of the Bun My Cafe MCU Single Serve multi-use brewer. Hope that you guys found it useful. As always, please join us at aromacup.com. And as always, please remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe. We're always grateful to you guys watching us here at aromacup.com. As always, guys, I'm Brian with aromacup.com reminding you to enjoy your cup and I'll see you next time. Take care.